How porn traps you. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you how. In this video, we are going to cover three things. Number one, how porn hooks you when you're young and makes it almost impossible for you to leave. Number two, what's happening in your brain when you get hijacked and then what makes it so difficult and keeps pulling you back into the screen. And then of course, number three is your brain tip strategy because yes, it's difficult to leave, but it is not impossible. It totally can be done and I'm going to share with you how. Okay, number one, how porn traps you. So for most people, they find pornography when they're young and it fills a void in their life. It is a self-soothing technique. So I want you to think about it like that. It is dopamine producing and it floods your brain with this bath of dopamine. And when you were young, it was the best feeling that you ever had. So not only is it pleasure seeking, seemingly, uh, seemingly pleasurable, it also has a pain reduction feature to it. So you're young and maybe there's dysfunction in your life or just the human condition in families is a challenging one in and of itself. Trust me, I know. I grew up in a family of six kids. Uh, so what happens is there's chaos in the family. There's struggles. There's possible, you know, your parents aren't paying attention to you. Worse than that, there may be traumas, physical, verbal, sexual abuse, neglect. So these things make it so that living is difficult. There's not a lot of dopamine there. And then when you find the screen, there's lots of dopamine there. So what happens is, and this is leading into number two, what happens is you get this flood of dopamine in your brain and it felt better than it ever felt before. It's a self-soothing technique. We know that pornography is a super normal stimulus. Literally, you can't get more dopamine anywhere else. It's the most dopamine producing activity, which makes it highly addictive. So now you're a young kid, you found this, this stash of dopamine and you've internalized the need for it. And we know your brain calibrates and it needs more and more and more. So this is the story so many people tell me when I talk to them. You know, at first I just was casually watching here and there, just sometimes, not all the time. Before I knew it, I was watching more frequently. I was watching longer. I was watching more intense scenes. This is your brain basically needing more because the dopamine levels have, have built a tolerance and they've leveled off. And your brain's going, dude, I need more dopamine because I'm used to that. I need some more if I'm still going to feel good. And then now you need more. So over time, the habit builds into a compulsion. And I have a couple real great takeaways from people that I spoke with where you know, just putting it in terms that I think is easy to understand. From a brain perspective, your brain needs the dopamine hit, but it makes your brain feel so good. So a lot of people tell me like, I can't imagine not being able to go back to it to have my brain feel good. When you create a life where you're getting dopamine and serotonin for happiness, not just pleasure, and you're living a balanced life, you won't need to run into the screen to get that dopamine hit. That is the way out. You have to make those changes in your life so that you don't need to go back to the screen. And, you know, talking to people, it's like, I, I need it. It just feels so good. But you can learn to live with less of it. And then you can learn to live with none of it. Then you can change your life and make it so you don't even need it anymore. So it hooks you and it hijacks you and it traps you until your brain gets strong enough to no longer be trapped before. Now, going back to the notion of trapping, it doesn't feel good to be trapped in something. To need to consume pornography or to need to masturbate, to feel okay, is not a good feeling for people. It produces guilt and shame, which this cycle is built on. If you're trapped in it, and this is what someone said to me, is that I don't want to do it, but I also do want to do it at the same time. That is the essence of a compulsion. The need to do it or the want to do it because of what it's doing for your brain. It's self-soothing, giving you pleasure, pain reduction. So number three, brain tip strategy, what's the way out? This is a complex 
issue. It's built in dysfunction from childhood or from earlier in your life. Then it is built on using those neural pathways over and over and over and over and over and over and over, honestly, for years and years and years, decades for many people. So the solution isn't an easy one, I'm sorry to tell you. It's a complex one, but it doesn't have to be impossible. The way out is to begin to create the upward spiral of change. Right now, whether you know it or not, you are stuck in the downward spiral. If you don't make a change, it will get worse for you. And what something I said accidentally this week is, there is no horizontal spiral. It doesn't work that way. Things either get better or they get worse. They don't stay the same when it comes to pornography consumption or sexualization, compulsive hypersexuality. They get worse unless you do something. So here's the thing to do. Use my brain tips at the end of these videos or go on over to drtrishley.com. I created Brain Porn Brain Reboot. It's a nonprofit. It has all the tools that you need to succeed. And I'm putting those tools here on YouTube. Of course, in the program, it's organized, unwire, rewire, hardwire, so that you have everything at your disposal so that you can learn how to use all the tools and all the tools are there for you in an organized fashion. And then in that program, if you want support from me personally, it's there for you too. And you can go check that out. But if you're not in a position to do that, stay here on YouTube, subscribe, get the notifications, actually watch the videos, get a journal, and at the end of the videos, use the brain tip strategies. So for today, the takeaway, the brain tip strategy is it will only get worse. Hopefully that motivates you. It is a negative feedback loop. Negative feedback loops add to themselves making things worse. The downward spiral, the proverbial upward spiral is Take the first step today to start using the tools. They're here for you on YouTube or get into a program. You have to start using tools to create the upward spiral. You can't just do nothing because that is a horizontal spiral and it doesn't exist. Okay, hopefully that will help you out. Start using some tools. You have to change something. And if you would like help in that journey, I'm here for you. So reach out to me, drtrishley.com, and remember, control your brain or it'll control you.